Coverage of science and environmental issues in Southeast Asia is limited, with regional journalists often facing obstacles when writing about key topics. They can experience difficulties such as accessing local and reliable sources, a lack of interest from some editors, and challenges understanding scientific language. In an attempt to change this, the Centre for International Forestry Research, C4, invited a group of 16 regional journalists to its campus in Bogor, Indonesia, to show them the inner workings of forestry science and to engage with leading scientists. Over the seven-day workshop, the journalists took part in interactive lectures and seminars, went on a field trip and attended the Forest Asia Summit to give them a comprehensive understanding about how to report on forests in Southeast Asia. Well, I think that it's always good for journalists to be exposed to other issues aside from their country's issues and also to be, uh, to be able to meet other journalists from their region or from outside their country because uh, many issues, especially environmental, um, can't be dealt with in a bubble. So like environmental issues are always cross-cutting, are always transboundary. So to be able to talk to other journalists and to be able to see how their issues play out in their countries is always a value to any journalist. The workshop helped the journalists develop an understanding of topics such as illegal logging, land tenure, climate change, local livelihoods and food security. Key science journalism reporting skills were also discussed, from how to find the human interest in science stories to understanding a research paper and interpreting statistics. I work as a research officer for livelihood benefit sharing here in C4 and I was working formerly as a journalist and I was involved in this training because I think there should be an effort to have a mutual understanding between the journalist and the researcher. So from the side of the journalist, they can appreciate the meticulous work that a researcher have done uh, for their research and try their best not to do a mistake in quoting the result of the research. Uh, well, on the other hand, for the researcher, uh, when they understand the demand of journalists' work, uh, they can try their best to provide appropriate information and more straightforward to avoid any mistake in quoting their job. After developing these new skills, the participants went on a two-day field trip to see integrated land use methods in practice. Spending time at Halimun Salak National Park gave them the chance to explore the landscape mosaic and speak to villagers whose livelihoods often depend on the forest and who are central to the stories they tell. This training equipped the participants with the skills to find stories at the Forest Asia Summit and the confidence to change the way they will seek out science and policy stories in the future. I learned a lot uh, and it was all very compact but you know, filled with lots of information and uh, helpful tools. Um, I enjoyed uh, the meeting a lot of scientists and uh, learning how to convey very scientific knowledge to a mass audience. 